Good morning, everybody. Hey, how's it going? You are watching Jane Nicole Designs. This is Eileen. That's me. Today, we are going to do a little bit of fun. Um, I hope that this project, we might be able to have to do two episodes or whatever, because I just don't know if I'm gonna get this um, all done within about an hour. So, um, if we have to, I will um, put in a little bit of a, um, you know, a buffer or whatever, and and then um, I may be finishing up next week. But um, what you see next to me is a suitcase, and um, I got it at the thrift store for three ninety nine, and then I have, if you can see it. I have a matching one over here that's a little bit bigger, and so um, I'm gonna be making a set for my um, master bedroom. I'm doing Americano with kind of the buffalo check, and um, I wanna be able to have kind of like a little place where I can put um, some knickknacks and things like that um, and store things. So I just wanted to, um, see how I could do this. This is one of the first times, good morning, Renee. Uh, this is one of the first times that I've tried painting on a suitcase. So um, it'll be a little bit of trial and error as far as, um, you know, I'm up for the challenge. So uh, we are gonna be doing that. I'm just gonna let a couple people get on and um, say hi, let me know uh, where you're watching from. And um, if you've watched before, uh, let me know. And if you're new to um, Jane Nicole Designs, uh, go ahead and put hashtag newbie. And um, if you don't see the little uh, live button there, um, illuminated red, that means you're watching the replay. So go ahead and put uh, replay on there and our hashtag replay. And that just allows me to know when and where um, you guys are watching. So um, it just helps me out as far as, um, you know, what's the best day. I, I've always picked 10 on Wednesdays just because it mostly works for my schedule, but um, that is just one of those. I would be glad to see where and when would be a good time. So if you want to put that in the comments, um, I know some gals go on evenings and um, usually evenings are more for my family. I teach some classes and things like that in the evenings, but um, let me know if you want me to go quick live in the evenings for a shorter project, maybe like an hour or something or less than an hour. So good morning, Joy. It's good to see that you're watching. I hope, Joy, that you got your um, free product. Let me know um, if you have not received it yet, but I sent it to you last week, I believe. So anyway, today, like I said, we are going to do this suitcase. And uh, the first thing that I'm going to do, I, I did... Um, uh, take a, a, a cloth here and I um, it was pretty dirty so I did just go ahead and make sure that you know there's no crumbles and things like that um, I did open it up and I I found a few treasures that that I'm gonna actually leave in it there's some uh, pins and uh, there's a straight pin and whatnot and man, it smells a little funky. I definitely, oh, good morning, mom. How are you? <laughs> Say my mom is on, on this morning. I'm so glad you were able to hang out. I talked to her yesterday and she's like, honey, sometimes I get your live and sometimes I don't. So hopefully, um, Wi-Fi and things like that. Thanks for joining. Um, but anyway, so it's, it's going to be a little bit rustic-y in the inside. I'm not really going to do anything. Um, uh, but I, like I said, I got this at a thrift store and it was $3.99. The matching a um, little bit larger was like $4.99. So I don't feel too bad as far as, you know, if this is an epic fail, it's okay. It's not too much money on my pocket. And I know it is vintage, um, but it is kind of beat up. And um, the other thing too, if you can see that there, it came without a handle. So um, in the comments there, why don't you let me know um, what you suggest? I mean, I could go buy another handle, which, you know, maybe. Um, but the other thing too is I thought, you know what, maybe I should just put some rope on it because it's gonna be Americano, um, floral, red, white, and blue, um, dark red kind of thing. Or I was thinking, well, maybe I should just put a ginormous bow on the top. Um, because I'm not going to be using the handle. So let me know what you guys think, what would be the best way how to, um, to finish off the handle. So, um, I am going to use today, 
this is Waverly Paint and uh, this is white and sorry about it being backwards it's a crafter's nightmare to flip it around but um, go ahead and screenshot this and then um, you know reading it backwards you can do this um, I got this at Walmart you can get it at Michaels you can get it at Hobby Lobby um, oh cool I'm glad you got it um, the so you can decide, um, you know, where you want to get it. I, um, like I said, I, my go-to place around here, um, is Walmart because they actually have a pretty okay, um, craft section, but, um, I don't have a Hobby Lobby that's close. So, um, I just want to make sure that, you know, that's where I get to go. I'll, I'll deal with what, um, what products are available. So that's, um, you can use any type of, of chalk paint. Um, you can even make your own um, and do that. But um, anyway, so, all right, the first thing I'm gonna do, this is, I just got this at a um, thrift store. This is just an old beat up um, silver tray. I think I got it for like 50 cents. And I just use that for my paint. Um, I have two of them and I will let you know, I know I'm going to be moving around a little bit because I was thinking this is a huge project. So I may have to, you know, scoot and move things around. So let me know if you're like, I'm out of camera. <laughs> so shake it up a little bit. We want to make sure that there's not bubbles, but just go back and forth a little bit. And then um, go ahead and you can, this project, I'm going to have to be generous. So I'm just going to dump a bunch in here. And, um, the chalk paint, it is not very runny, which I like. It kind of will stay on where I need it to be. Um, the brush that I'm choosing today, this is just from Walmart. It is a thin brush, but it is wider so that I can make some coverage. And then this one here is my tried and true. I both got these both at um, uh, Walmart. And this one here is a little bit more rustic-y. It'll give me some texture and get in the little spots that I need to. So I'm just gonna go for it. We'll see how this goes. Um, but I don't want it too thick because, let's see if I can make sure we get in here. Um, I want it to dry and um, I don't mind, like I said, I usually said, I don't mind if um, some of the, the texture of the, the um, suitcase goes through. So if I don't have this super bright, bright white, um, I'm okay with that. So, um, and then the other thing I'm trying to decide it's, you know, it's in my Americana room, so it's red, white, and blue, and then it's, um, Buffalo check. And then, um, this week I came across a bedspread and it is, uh, black and white kind of creamish um, twill so I kind of got a black and white red white and blue kind of thing going on so um, I might want a little bit of this rusticy kind of stuff to come through so I don't know what do you guys think should I just should I keep it bright white or well we have one more step I might add in um, antiquing it. So we'll see. But, um, along with this, they have, uh, or I have, I should say, um, some decoupage that I'm going to be doing. And I will show you, uh, when we get a little bit closer, um, to that. And for this project right now, I am just going to be doing, um, the front and then uh, the front and the other side and not doing the bottom for right now. Because one thing, because of time, I might finish it off um, a little bit later. We'll see how it goes. But like I said, this is one of those projects I thought, you know what, I don't want to paint it white first because I want you guys to see what it looks like. Jeffrey, what's for lunch? Oh my goodness. Um, but I want to make sure that I get an even coat um, so that I don't have big globs. I'm going to be um, taking a hair dryer, and I am going to be um, drying this. Uh, last um, last week we did uh, the pocket posy, uh, pocket wall hanging. I just want to show you this. This is so fun. After after live. 
I um, went back and this was the second one I was supposed to do and I ran out of time, but um, this is the second one that I made. And all this is is a crushed can and there's some little embellishments and things like that. Put some flowers in it, a little bow on the top. And um, that's going to be a giveaway. Uh, we have a, a gals event this weekend and I wanted to make something so that I could donate it. And that's what it ended up with. So I'm super excited about that one. Okay, let's scoot this around so you can see, keep seeing what I'm doing. I, um, I was also thinking that because of the, the red, white, and blue theme, let me know. I was thinking of painting the uh, leather. These are leather um, kind of ribbing around it. I was thinking of painting it the crimson color. So um, in the comments, let me know if you think I should be painting it the crimson or if I should just completely keep it all white. I haven't decided on that. That's, that's one of the things I love about having interaction with my crafting journey. I love it when you guys suggest things because then, then it just makes it a little bit more of who I hang out with when I'm crafting. So like I said, this chalk paint, it, it dries pretty quick. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna leave some of the little, let's move it over here. I'm gonna leave some of the, um, the leather kind of peeking out because I want a little bit of aged look. Um, like I said, I may do some uh, vin the vintage wax and distress it. So it might be something where, um, let's see, let's make sure we don't get too messy. Um, I may be able to um, just cover some of that up with the, um, with the wax as well. The, the, let me show you it first so you know where I'm going. This is the vintage um, antique wax. So um, when it dries, we uh, if, if it dries, I should say, in the timely manner, then we can just um, see how that goes. But I'm just going to paint the whole thing. And um, I'm going to kind of stay away from the uh, hardware um, on the, the top here because I may go back, I got this out as well. See, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take, but this is the gold. It is a like a um, sparkly gold. I may go back and paint um, the hardware gold because um, it may just give it a little bit extra. I have silver and gold in my room because um, of vintage looking kind of things. I just wanted to make sure that I am adding both silver and gold in my um, in my room. So, all right, it's getting there. So, let me know in the comments: Have you ever done this? Have you taken a piece of furniture or um, luggage? Or I could see this. You know, some of the the um, vintage. Um, uh, what do you call it? Like the little uh, curler and hairpin. Um, oh, what do you call it? The, uh, what do you call them? Um, the boxes and things like that. When you get rollers and things like that, doing some type of like a little vintage uh, box that you can put in your uh, bathroom or something like that. I think that would be great. I know right now some of that stuff is just sitting on the shelves in the thrift stores and I've been looking and seeing and, uh, like I said, I, the other thing I do, um, I do volunteer at a thrift store. And so um, I always watch and see what's going on and what comes in and what people are giving away and seeing, um, you know, how I can revamp some of that stuff. But I think um, that this is a, a trend that has been around for a little while. But, you know, sometimes I just, I don't know. I just don't see it in time. And then I'm like, well, I wonder if you guys have. And so we'll see how it goes. All right. So I'm just going to keep going. I want to make sure that at least see if you guys can see it. My, my table, I tried to clear a lot of my table off so that we could get most of it in, in the, 
in the view there. But let me know how your weekend went. Did you, uh, I, I ended up, I ended up playing soccer, or not playing, watching, <laughs> watching soccer. My daughter, she was um, doing a preseason game in, in um, Washington. And so we trucked really quick over to Washington for, it was like 24 hours, 36 hours or something like that. And um, we watched her play soccer and I, Heard the weather here in Idaho was beautiful. It was it was really nice there as, as well. So we hung out and and watched a couple soccer games and I I actually got a little sunshine. It was kind of nice. So let me know what your plans were. <laughs> or did you? Did you have some big plans? I know a lot of it right now is is getting ready for um the springtime, I just, this morning, the the uh, neighbors had their, their uh, lawnmowers going, and it was one of those. I was like, wow, I'm I, we have not gotten ours out yet. <laughs> okay. So, um, what I recommend is, is when you're doing um, some, this type of chalk paint, that it's on here, not too thick. You could always go back and do a second coat um, less is best on that kind of thing where you don't want it drippy and you want to make sure that it like this this brush is super fine and it just kind of melts into the cracks I doesn't even look like I need to use that other brush I don't think so I think I like it the way it is um, Let's keep moving it around so you can see. Do that. But I am getting really excited about um, putting my room together. It's coming along. Um, the wood, we took um, Idaho blue pine and put that like um, shiplap behind our, our um, bed. And then we, um, I started with uh, some pictures and things like that. I distressed um, a few uh, metal signs and whatnot. So I'll, I'll show them to you when we kind of get this all together. I'll put some pictures on my Jane Nicole Designs, the VIP. Um, so if you want to be a part of that, go ahead and let me know. Just go to Jane Nicole Designs on Facebook and you can be a part of the, the VIP page. And that's where I post more personal um, like pictures and things like that, but also um, different projects that I've done. And um, sometimes I do a sale only for my VIPs, that kind of stuff. So, okay. I'm just kind of looking at what's going on. You see any little spots here? We're just gonna start moving it around to make sure. I think right there I'm looking. But I, I do, I don't mind if there's gonna be some, some of that brown showing. I'm trying to get it way over there. But like I said, I'm putting a pretty thin coat and this is going to be a matte finish because it is chalk paint. Um, the chalk paint will dry like a matte, like a matte finish. Let's move this around. Oh, I totally missed a spot over here. So let me turn this around. I wore this shirt because this is one of those where it can get it can get full of paint if I need to. It's not one of my best ones. So I was like, okay, I need to make sure that if I get white paint on something, it's not too good. <laughs> but that's okay. All right. There we go. And I um, I just put a couple mats. You see them on the bottom there. I got them at um, the dollar store. And I buy like four or five at a time. And then when I use when I use um, them for different projects and they get too icky, I just toss them. But there we go. Okay. Let's do this. 
All right, I think I'm ready. Um, like I said, it's it's one of those. This is what it's gonna look like. See, there's a little bit of variation on the, um, the paint. It is not gonna be completely opaque, which, it, like I said, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna let this dry just for a few. And, um, morning, Gerald. Uh, I'm gonna let this sit there for a second. And a crafter's always has to have, did I get it on me? No, nope, I thought I did. Okay, uh, baby wipes, best thing ever. Um, I have older kids. They don't need baby wipes, but we still buy them at Costco by the box just because they are such good, easy cleanup. And when you craft, it's one of those where I like to make sure that when I'm doing a project like this, um, that I have a clean work area. So like I said, we're just gonna let this sit off to the side for right now. And um, we may shoot it with a uh, hair dryer. I do have that on hand, um, but we'll see how that goes. So we are done with the white chalk paint. And like I said, let me know, do you think I should paint the little rims and things like that with this, this crimson color? I think I might be doing that. Um, I can do it after um, I put uh, some of the, the other uh, elements that we're gonna put on it today. So in the comments, let me know, what should I be doing with that? Should I put the, the crimson on there or not? Okay, so the next step in this, I, um, I'm starting to get into the decoupage. And unfortunately, after I figured out this, uh, this you know project, I was like, I need some decoupage things. Well, um, unfortunately, I don't have uh, rice paper and I didn't have any transfers. So I was like, you know, it was the last night before I decided that I was gonna do this and um, at Walmart, I, eh, it doesn't really have a whole lot of what I can use, so I'm going to do my own thing. Um, what I did is I went on the internet and I found um, a free uh, PNG, that's the .png files of, of things that I wanted to put on this uh, suitcase. And I printed them off on regular piece of paper. So. Um, my recommendation is if you have um, something that you want to decoupage on here, this is fine. Um, I'm going to use this, you know, home use, but if you're going to be using it something for like, um, you know, resale or things like that, make sure that you have a commercial, um, that it's free. It's okay to use commercially, but if you're going to, good morning, Amy, uh, make sure that when you do this, that you have a copyright um, okay. So if you're going to be selling things like this, it, it is so important. I don't know about you guys. There's so many times where I have um, images like for my t-shirts and things like that, that people are like, Hey, can you do this for me? And, and I'm like, well, is it commercial use? Do you have the license to be able to do that? And they're like, I, what's that mean? So um, do check out when you're going to be using um, products and things like that, that they are okay to be able, if you want to resell them, um, but that they're not um, commercial use uh, that you would have to buy something. Um, like I have licenses. Um, for example, So Fancy is a uh, wonderful website that I use my, um, my cut files from or design bundles but you have to have a commercial license to be able to put that on your product or your t-shirt or whatever it is um, and then be able to sell it. So that's just my seller tip. I It's one of those. I make sure that when I have something that's on there um, that I don't have copyright infringed. So anyway, with that being said, I picked some of these, um, some of these uh, images off that are, that, um, I'm gonna use it for personal use because I'm not selling this because this is going in my room. Um, but I just uh, just went and just printed it off. And then I just wanted to show you what I did. And um, I just took a, I'll show you really quick because I think this is one of those where it saved me going out and buying decoupage um, stuff. I would love to, um, but like I said, I just didn't have time yesterday to do, or last night to do that. So I'm gonna take just a paintbrush and all I do is I just have a little can lid right here that has water in it. And I am gonna go around my image. And it is okay, um, like I said, if you just go right up to it, that's totally fine. And I'm gonna go around my image about a quarter inch around. 
because that's kind of usually what it is a little bit more um, but around about a quarter of an inch and how I know I'm ready I'm gonna tear this and how I know is you see there there's the line where the water is so when I see that where it's starting to saturate the paper then I can know that I'm gonna start tearing and I'm gonna actually do this image all all at once but by the time I go around I think this should be all ready to to rip okay so that's what it looks like you can see that there's the little line around there I'm just gonna rip down and then I'm gonna start going around where I first started the water and just see how it pulls apart put your finger on there if it gets too close see how that is and I'm just gonna keep going around my image then when you're cutting it you don't have to have a ton of detail um, the buffing paint you use so the the paint that I use Amy this is Waverly it is chalk paint I got it at uh, Walmart I think this one's like a six or eight dollar for that and like I said I just did one coat and the one coat um, if you want to have it bright white I would do two but um, I want this one to look a little bit distressed and vintage so um, I just put one coat on um, like I said I'm right now I'm letting it dry and I'm just taking these images that I printed off on regular copy paper because I did not have rice paper I didn't have the the um, there's also you can use butcher paper um, but I didn't have that available so I just decided you know what we're just gonna we're gonna use it this way so I have a few of these that I'm gonna put on and then because I have the Buffalo check I I printed off Buffalo check and this is a little bit grayer which I, I'm okay with um, but I'm gonna go actually on the image because I want it to look a little bit um, distressed on the actual Buffalo check here so this is one of the other patterns that are that is in my room and I want to make sure that kind of I keep that theme going and like I said I just put in a little bit of water right along the part where I want it to tear and then when I see that it, it's looking like it's saturated I'm just gonna start ripping and that's the cool part about doing see there it doesn't matter it's okay um, I am not a huge perfectionist person as far as it has to be straight it has to be absolutely perfect um, I think some of that is is um, okay but when you're doing projects like this that it's vintage and it's okay I think just to to have a little imperfections here and there but that's what I'm gonna do so I may put water on it and make it smaller we'll decide uh, while we're doing this but let me do this other one here and like I said I just went on my computer and made sure that um, these were okay to print images um, like I said you don't want to print something that somebody is like um, on Etsy and things like that that they are they are actually earning an income from their uh, designs you don't want to do that that's not that it's well you just don't want to do that I make sure that if someone has worked hard on their their business or their imagery and things like that that they are compensated um, there's a lot of people that they put um, you know freebies and things like that on their site and I use their freebies like design bundles has a ton of you know SVGs and those are cut files and things like that that you can use um, but just making sure that that the people who are designing actually get compensated for their hard work and that's kind of just the the small business in person in me that it's just like you know what I want to make sure that if you um, you know if you worked hard on something like that I want to I want to make sure that you get compensated for that so that's just my two cents about copyright Okay, so this one here, this is just words, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this, but 
we'll see how it goes. I might, um, I might use it, but I really like the Buffalo check. So like I said, all I'm going to do is just go for the, the tearing around it. I am not sure yet. There we go. It looks like today is one of those days where we're having a like sun every two seconds. I'm looking out my window and it was super bright and I had the sunlight on my face and now it's gone. <laughs> so I don't know about you guys. How's your spring? It is definitely not, um, not a, I guess it's more typical here, but it is not like the springs that I'm used to in Washington and having a little bit more, um, predictability. That's kind of one of the things I, I definitely have found here that it's really unpredictable. We had uh, about a week ago, week and a half ago, something like that. We had, um, we had seven, eight inches of snow. And then by like two, three o'clock in the afternoon, it was gone. And I was like, Bleh. so Idaho, Northern Idaho is one of those. You just never know I mean, we put our snow blower away and things like that. And then these, these seven inches of snow came and we're like, what? yeah. So it was one of those crazy things. Okay. So for right now, I think that's what I'm going to use uh, for decorating. And I'm looking at it here. Let me, I'm going to, it's going to be noisy for just a few. Um, I'm going to take my hair dryer and I'm going to shoot it uh, with my hair dryer so that it does a little, it's, it's a little, um, yeah, it's a little wet. So hold on. That's enough time if we if we um, do have some uh, that's wet I think it should be fine it's it's pretty dry to the touch um, and I think for right now I'm gonna be just working a lot on this this um, the front here so the next thing I'm gonna do is I kind of wanted to see I have another um, thought as well um, about putting um, our other project I have these uh, stars and I'm not sure if I want to do, let's, I'm, I'm going to integrate them together with the, um, the, uh, flowers. 
But for this one here, I want to make sure, oh, looks like somebody's coming around. My, uh, my 130 pound, 40 pound German Shepherd just told me somebody's here. <laughs> so no worries. There we go. All right. So I just put some water on it and I, I usually pull these apart and make um, only, you know, have one layer, but because I want this to be pretty opaque and seeing the, um, the image, I am going to leave it both the layers together. And so I'm just waiting a few just to make sure that the, um, the water soaks through. I want it vintage looking, but I don't want it too too ripped up so just take me a second here to get this one going so like I said I may use this I'm not sure we'll see oh let's get the other part on here make sure we get the tips of it so there we go I'm just gonna let this sit for a second I want it to dry a little bit so that it it does um, it it goes on there. We're going to be um, doing the Mod Podge, and I want to make sure that that Mod Podge will dry and make sure that it's um, not too uh, too uh, the the napkin is too wet. But like I said, I really like that distressed kind of ripped look on the sides here. And this water does a great job of just kind of helping me along to make sure that it, it rips okay. Okay, so like I said, I just went around the image just like that. Go ahead, you can put your finger down and that helps as well. Or just grab it with two, with your hands there and then just rip along the, the outside. Okay, and we'll see how this goes. I may have I may have four of them now. We'll see how this works. Okay. So let me get my glasses on. I think I need my glasses at this point. And we're gonna open this up. Yep, we do need to let it dry a little bit more. But this one is ready. See how it has two of them? I did all four or two at once. Let's see if this will dry a little bit. We can open it up. There we go. So it does have the white backing on there from the, the other side. Usually if I would were doing regular Mod Podge, I would pull this apart. But like I said, today I want it to be a little bit more opaque. So we're going to set those off to the side. And now here we go. I'm so excited. All right, it's dry. It's ready to go. Let me get my Mod Podge here. I'm going to use um, matte finish. This is my, um, sorry, whoop, right there. This is Mod Podge, it's the, the matte finish. And with this one here, I'm going to, let's use my favorite. This is, like I said, this is one of my favorite brushes. I have like three or four of them, um, but I wanna make sure, nope, that's dried there. We'll get the right kind on here. I want to make sure, yeah, it's ready. I wanna make sure that when I put these on here, I'm gonna first put Mod Podge on there, and then I'm going to put my image on, and then I'm going to uh, put it over the top. So when you're deciding what you wanna do, I hope you can see this all. Give me a thumbs up if you, if, if you can see this. I just wanna make sure that you have enough to, to see what's going on here. Let me wipe my hands off, I got some paint on me. Um, but I'm gonna take the, the Mod Podge and um, decide where I'm gonna start being able to uh, layer this. You see how that goes? I'm just gonna kinda see where things are gonna set. 
So um, deciding, I this is this is ginormous. So I am going to take my scissors and just trim it down a little bit. And I want to make sure. Hmm. I think I'm going to do it right here. So I'm just going to put it in the spots. Scoot it over here so you can see. There we go. Just going to put it in the spots where I think that that's where I want it to go. And like here, I'm going to put this down there. Yep. Okay. And like I said, I, I don't want these to be so big. I'm, I'm not liking the fact that they're monstrous. So we're going to take the, the, uh, water and let's make it a little bit smaller. And like I said, you don't have to be super precise. I'm just making a squiggly line and then waiting for it to get a little, um, the water to go seep into the paper. And there we go. I think that's going to be better. What do you guys think? Is that going to be? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to put Decisions, decisions. Okay, so I might put this one over to the side. Yep. And that's where you get to decide where your project is going to go. And I love to be able just to say, you know what? Okay, if it doesn't work, we'll rip it off or do something later. But like I said, I want to make sure that um, when I do Mod Podge, let's do a thin coat. And I'm just going where I'm just about thinking where it's going to be. So um, that my paper doesn't rip. I don't want to put too much on there. Or here's the other way that you can do it. You can actually take it, the Mod Podge, and put it on your project. So like here, it's going to stick out a little bit. I'm going to put that on there so that, um, that I don't have to put it all the way over for right now. Okay, and then if you want to, you can, um, let me get it here. I use, um, these are just uh, gloves, and I just want it to make sure that it goes on smooth. So I'm just going to rub it with my, with my glove here, just to make sure that it's staying. You want this to, I mean, you could just use it as a, you know, distressed element of your your project and leave the paper so that it does fringe out on the ends. You can totally do that. That's, you know, that's your choice in that way. Um, but for this one here, I'm going to, let's try it. I put a little bit on the suitcase. We're going to go rogue and see what goes on here. Um, I do recommend doing it on the project because I think We'll see, but the paper is starting to do this little bend thing, and I would much rather have it um, stay on the project, I think. But it's working. It totally is working. So, but make sure you have your baby wipes in here. We'll see how this goes. Um, take your glove and just start moving it around. And then go ahead and just take the, the little edges that are flipped up. I want them to go back down. Yeah, I think I like that better. Like I said, you could totally, <clears throat> excuse me, you could totally do this however you would like. If you want these little edges to come up, um, you can always Mod Podge after it dries in those little curled edges. And I think it would be a fun kind of, you know, peekaboo look in your, in your uh, project. So I'm gonna put that down there. I know this is kind of one of those where I'm gonna have to do the napkin. I don't recommend doing um, painting on the, the actual napkin because that's gonna end up curling your, your napkin too much. 
There we go. Okay, and then, like I said, go ahead and just take your your uh, glove and, or you could use cellophane wrap. I've seen that where you can just take a little bit of saran wrap and then put it down. Okay, so see how this is going? I am just gonna keep moving down my project. And like I said, it doesn't have to be completely perfect. I could put, oh, maybe, I, I don't know. What do you think? Should I start coming down the, the up? I think I like that, that's awesome. I might peel this up a little bit, see if I can tuck that underneath. And if that's gonna look okay. Yeah, how exciting. I, I got this idea um, from one of the gals, her name is Kathy and she um, does Royal Funky Junk and Sparkle Chicks. And she did this um, with a Harlequin pattern and um, all sorts of rub-ons and things like that. And I saw it and I'm like, I, I, have, to, I have to try this project. So that's where I, I got the idea. There we go. There we go. And I just moving it around a little bit just to make sure that it stays and goes where I want it to go. I said we will I'm put Maj Paj on this for a little bit. I might even just leave that part open because I'm going to, um, I may just leave it uh, dark or I might just paint it white. I'm not sure yet. That's one of the things I'm gonna decide later. Okay, and then just make sure that where you want it to stick, that it stays there. And my, whoop, Maj Podge sets up a little bit. Look at, I just ripped it, but I want to make sure that it goes a little bit closer to the, perfect, and just squish it there. There, good as new. All right. So let me know how 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 do you like this? Is it is it a is it a go or is it a nah, I'm not sure yet. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this off. Deciding where this is gonna go. So like I said, you can just, just keep going. All right, I'm gonna tuck a little piece under there. All right, and you think, I think I need to put another star up on top. What do you guys think? Let me scoot it down here. I think I want a couple stars that just disperse up and over the sides. So let's do that. And the more I think you layer on it, the different layers of paper and textures and things like that, I think it's gonna be just more pleasing to the eye to just start doing some some of your own creativity. I think it's going to be awesome. And let me know, is it something where, you know what, this would be a really fun like entryway suitcase that you could put at your front door. It would be really fun to take and do one, um, one, uh, different, um, holiday. I mean, that would be really fun. One side you could do Christmas. The other side you could do fall. And for like, you know, four months out of the year, you've got your, your front door um, decoration. I think that would be awesome. There we go. Oh, let's make sure we get some Mod Podge down there. 
And that's the cool thing about this. This will tell you exactly where you need to go. And the other thing too is when we put the Mod Podge over the top, it will dry. Um, it won't dry. Uh, it will dry clear. So you want to make sure that um, we seal in each of these elements. Okay, so you think that's I think that's awesome right now. Okay, now I'm gonna keep going, and I'm gonna kind of do almost like a like a swoop kind of along the side, and then because um, that's that's a I don't know. Do you think that's a little bit too big on there? I think so. I think I just want. A little bit of so I'm actually gonna trim this right here with my scissors don't think I want this whole whoops sorry I'm trying to cut with my left hand with a right-handed scissors that's not gonna work so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut what I'm going to use so I think that would be really nice and we'll pick up We'll pick up the napkin so I can layer that on there. How exciting, I love this project. I cannot wait until um, I can put this in my room. This is gonna be awesome. Okay. There, I'm just making sure that all the pieces that I want to go down onto the suitcase get there. There we go. Like I said, we, we want to make sure that everything is sticking. We don't, we don't want it to uh, be too far away from the... Uh, there we go away from um, the the suitcase so let's make sure that's out of the way there we go all right and I think um, I want a little that little bud I think I wouldn't mind just putting that just as a little leaf off to the side here Almost like it's peeking out. Well, let's see here. Let's pick that up a little bit. There we go. I think that it just kind of gives it a little bit of texture. The more layers that you do, and that's the cool thing about this project. You can decide what you want to do. There we go. Okay, so see how that's going? I love it. It is getting awesome. I, okay. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go do a little bit more here. We're going to let this dry a little bit. And then I'm going to take, I think this is going to be a cool piece that we need to incorporate into our, our uh, project here. So I'm going to take some Mod Podge here. We're going to goop a bunch on. Do make sure that it is um, pretty, pretty thin. We don't want too fluffy, you know, too thick. But I'm gonna make sure, I think I want it to go a little bit more on the side here. But that's what I say, it's really cool to do different textures and things like that. Like these words, I just printed off. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. And then I am going to be using Let's see here. I think I like, what do you guys think? We're gonna put a star down at the bottom 
but I like that. What do you guys think? Oh, a map. Awesome, Joy. That would be cool. Wouldn't that be fun to take um, a map from all the places that you have been and decorate a trunk with all the different, um, the different, you know, destinations and things like that. I think that would be an awesome, awesome thing to do. And then you could, um, then you could have the, the suitcase that went everywhere, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put it on this paper. There we go. Let's put that on the top. What do you guys think? Is that? There we go. Make sure that the little corners are all taken care of. I know it's kind of different to do uh, do something that's furniture related, or um, because the other one that I have that is a little the other suitcase that I have is a little bit uh, larger, and I'm actually going to make a table out of it, and then use this one on top of it so that I can store some things, knickknacks and whatnot. I think that's going to be a really fun fun way to be able to have a little table. Okay, so I'm going to put, hold on, I got some Mod Podge that's really thick. There we go. And I'm going to put another star on. So, what do you guys think? Um, a little taller. I'm going to just tap it there. What do you guys think? Should I go up higher? I think I should probably go up a little bit higher on that just so that it doesn't look like it's too oddly there we go and when I do stuff like this I usually do it in lots of three odd numbers are pre pleasing to the eye when you look at um, things like this so I just kind of try and keep that in mind Okay, so now that you're that we're getting this going here in the different layers, what are some of the ideas that you guys have on this project? There we go. Look at that. That is super, super fun. I think I will put a little bit of the greenery down at the bottom. Yep, yep. It's kind of up to you. You get to, you get to decide how many and how much that you want to put on your project and that's the cool part about this project it is so uh, adaptable to what you would like to do i'm just giving you the the idea that i saw and you can do the rest i think that's the cool part about this one i would love to see um this would be a fun one out in somebody's uh garden and you can put um varnish on it i think that would be really really cool and even if you opened it up um, opened up the suitcase filled it with dirt and it sat at your front door i think that's a cool idea as well okay and because you're doing it with the the um, the glove, it slides a little bit better so that you can push things down. Okay. All right. So, do you see how that goes? Isn't that awesome? Okay. So now I'm gonna take. Um, let me get a brush here. I'm gonna take a. A thinner brush this is like the one that we used uh, for painting our project and this one is a little bit more it's not as rough and so I'm gonna go ahead and use the same Maj Posh and I want to just go over it and see how it's it's darker 
but that is okay because it will dry clear. Go ahead and go a little bit off. This, um, the Mod Podge that I'm using is, it's matte finish, so it's not gonna be too shiny, which I'm gonna like that part. I, I don't want it to be, I don't wanna be too shiny. Be careful when you go across your napkin. You wanna make sure that you don't tear your napkin. But you wanna get it covered enough that it just puts a, a, a coating over the top of it. There we go. Okay, so now down to the bottom here. Like I said, the sky is the limit on these projects. You can, I mean, I could see this as a, a uh, something for uh, 4th of July. That would be awesome. The, the shabby chic is really in right now to be able to do that. I think that would be, you know, I think it would be really cool to be painting it blue and then putting a bunch of florals and um, all different older, older styles in it. Okay, and so now I'm just gonna keep going. I wanna make sure that I completely cover um, all the images here so that they will seal in because I don't want it, I don't want it to, um, I don't want the paper to be uh, exposed. I want it to make sure that um, the paper is all covered up with the Mod Podge. And if you wanted to, you also could take um, this Mod Podge and uh, put some water in it and make it a little bit thinner. Um, so that it's not so thick. But, um, you know, if, if I were to put this outside, I would definitely want, um, you know, full strength kind of thing. So um, that it would be protected by rain and, and things like that. So, but like I said, I just want to make sure that this one here, I would, I would also go all different ways so that your brush strokes are um, just kind of, you know, mismatchy here and there. There we go. Okay. Coming on the home stretch here. Like I said, this is one of those projects I was like, Okay, I might, I may not be able to get this all finished, but I'm sure gonna try my hardest. So, we're like I said, we're coming home on the home stretch here. And if you're you're still thinking about it, I also need to put the uh, handle on, and I like I said, I might not be able to do that this time, but. Um, should I do a bow or should I do rope? Should I buy a new handle? What do you think I should do with this one? Like I said, there's not any, I don't have a handle for it. It Both of them came without handles. So I was like, oh, okay. But I'm buying it anyways. Okay. All right, and so because, I don't know if you can see this, but because the, um, the stars are, they are um, napkins, they are wrinkly, and that is okay. If you can see, there's almost like a little texture on them, and I think that is a great, another element of being able to um, have some more texture on your, your project. So um, the thing about this is I'm gonna have to let this dry for quite a bit um, because it has so many layers on it and things like that. But I wanted to show you um, how I'm gonna finish off some of this stuff because um, 
you know, I, like I said, I, I want to just kind of give you an idea of where I'm going next. So, ooh, Joe, you want to, yeah. Joe, you want to do the bow? I think I'm, that's what I probably will be doing is the bow. So, um, all right. So what I have here on the corner, this right here, and here is the, um, the hardware. And this is the, the gold that I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit just to kind of show you what, what we're going to be doing here. And um, I got this at Walmart as well. And the cool part about this, uh, this paint, if you can see it, it has a little bit of um, kind of sheen and sparkle to it, but it's not going to be totally crazy too much. Um, it, and it actually is a little bit um, almost like paste. And so all I'm going to do, you don't have to have a super uh, steady hand because goodness, I do not. But I'm just going to take this little brown round brush and I'm going to go ahead and just paint the hardware. And like I said, I don't think that you need to be completely super detailed on it because um, I will have to do two coats on this one. But I just kind of wanted to show you, this is how I'm going to finish off the hardware. Okay. And then I will let that dry. I'll let this dry and then I will put another coat on. So it looks like I may just do white um, chalk paint on here and then like I did here, I'm gonna um, do a coat of, of the gold. So that is what I'm gonna do for that. And like I said, I think we're gonna have to do part two, um, but I just wanted to show you how I'm gonna be finishing that part off. And then the other thing I don't want to, to miss before you, um, before I finish here is this is the antique, antique wax. And I know, sorry, it's backwards, but I'm going to go ahead and just, because this part here, right here, I'm going to keep it just the way it is. I'm not going to put any, um, any Mod Podge on there. I just want this part to be, um, just just as it is so what you do to 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 take the wax there is go ahead this i just have this old um kitchen towel that i you know i cut pieces off and um, use it for this purpose so i'm just gonna put, cut a piece off i don't think you really need to see that part but i'm just gonna have a little piece and how i do this is i'm just gonna dip a little bit and then I'm just going to roll it around and it looks like dirt, doesn't it? <laughs> but there we go. So you would think I just ruined it, but, and the first time I did this, I was a little nervous. I was scared that it, I did ruin it, but I'm going to take over here. my. I'm just going to take some, some, uh, a paper towel and I'm just going to start moving it around and see how it just starts to come off. So you can also take, if you want more of it off, you can also take your baby wipe and see how it just kind of comes off a little bit. You can start moving it down around. You can take it almost completely down to just a little bit. I'm just doing this corner because I want to um, make sure that. But I would do this after your project is already, you know, completely dry and ready to, to do this step. Remove this. But see how that just gives it a little bit of a weathered look. 
like I said, I can keep taking the layers down to even lighter. It's just up to you what you want to do on this. So look at that. It just kind of gives it that little vintagey look. And when you're going to be doing all these different pieces with that, um, the, uh, the wax, it's going to start looking aged. It's going to start having some really cool textures and things like that. So we are not done with this project, but I am out of time today. Um, so next week, we are going to keep going on this project. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I so appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. We, uh, Let's say, like I said, we are going to finish this project next week. I will keep it. I will try not to touch it and work on it. Um, I will keep it in this form and fashion so that we can hang out next week. But thank you so much for watching Jane Nicole Designs. Um, if you would like to, I do have a YouTube channel. That's Jane Nicole Designs and Etsy shop with some of my redesigns and t-shirts and whatnot. And also um, on Facebook here, there's... Um, Jane Nicole Designs VIPs if you want to be a part of that and um, come along with me in my journey. But I so appreciate you hanging out with me today. If you have any questions and things like that, please feel free to put them in the comments. Um, if you have any ideas or pictures and you want to be able to share what you've been doing and, and you want to go for the challenge of trying to, you know, figure out what this decoupage and suitcases, um, if you're around um, and you find a, a suitcase and whatnot, put it on the comments so that I can see what you're working on. But I so appreciate you hanging out with me today and just pray that you have a blessed week this week and we will see you back next Wednesday and we will finish off our suitcase. You guys take care and have a wonderful rest of the week.